Hey everyone, Biscuit again, and in this video we're actually going to be taking a look at the real grade Evangelion Unit 8 Alpha. Uh, the Evangelion uh, Unit 8 is from the anime series Evangelion... Rebuild. Rebuild of Evangelion. And this uh, is actually used by the character Mari. Um as shown by the striking color scheme. Uh, this did not appear in the original show, Neon Genesis Evangelion, um, which, yeah, quite frankly, makes sense uh, due to the whole design and everything. Uh, yeah, let's get into the review, starting with the aesthetics. So, aesthetically, this thing is very nice to look at. Let me move back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There we go. This thing is very nice to look at. So much color and detail is going on here. And at the same time, uh, it's so simple, yet there's so much going on. Uh, every piece that you see, every color that you see here, I should say, is a separate piece as well. So, that means uh, these little guards right here, that's a separate piece. The little stuff on the hand are a separate piece. These parts are separate pieces. The, even the dark green on the bottom of the feet are color separated. Every single color that you see here is a separate part. So no stickers are required for this entire build. That even includes the eyes and tiny bit of transparent red on the top. This makes me super happy. Uh, of course, that does mean that you do get a lot of parts, and assembly can be quite long, but it's not too bad. Um, but you do get an optional sheet of stickers, if you're wrong, and you also get the uh, metallic uh, ones that you tend to see with usual real grades. Uh, these stickers are uh, kind of very minimalistic. Um, they're for everything on the unit, and if you're wondering why a lot of them aren't on, I'm usually a huge fan of decals, as you can see on my first video for YouTube. These don't exactly look the great. There's, ooh, there's a lot of the edge that you can see, and they just don't look all that great on the thing. However, the ones shaped to the part do look pretty nice. Um, however, a lot of them do not look all that great. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, really it for the aesthetics, all I have to say. Uh, all the colors are pretty nice. This isn't my favorite Evangelion unit. However, the only, like, local hobby shop in town that actually had, uh, that, the only shop in town that has model kits that's local, um, had this in stock, so I figured, eh, why not, we'll pick it up. Uh, yeah, it's not my favorite, but I absolutely love it. So yeah, let's move on to the accessories. So, this unit comes with quite a bit, so please bear with me. Uh, to get the first thing out of the way, sheet of stickers, we already saw that. Uh, you also get an entry plug. No, I'm sorry, oh my god, not an entry plug. Uh, this is the called the umbilical cable. It's on a bendy wire, and this is used to supply power to the Evangelion. Uh, without it, they can only last for about five minutes or so. This easily plugs into the back. And yeah, there you go. Uh, mine is a bit loose. I've seen that other people have not had an issue with theirs. However, mine is a bit loose if you tug on it a bit. So yeah, be careful of that if that happens to yours. Uh, and at the end of the umbilical cable, there's this, which can actually plug into action bases. So if you have one of the bases for those, then it'll work. Now, moving on to the weapons, you have the pallet rifle, uh, and you also get two trigger finger hands, one for each side. This easily slots into the Ava's... Ooh. There we go. This easily slots into uh, the wrist of the Evangelion, and it holds it pretty well. Um, yeah, uh, the hands that have been on it the whole time have been these relaxed hands. You do get a ton more, like fists. Uh, ooh, come on, focus. Yeah, uh, ooh. You get fists, a widespread dynamic hands, uh, chopping hands, ooh, that, I don't know, oh, there it is. You get these chopping hands, which are actually running hands. Uh, you get a thumbs up hand, which is actually a knife holding hand. And if we come to the shoulder pylons right here, flip it up, you can actually store the progressive knife in there. Now, isn't that just something? Just kidding. It is... I don't even know where that went. I was 
trying to do a bit. Oh, okay. Well, that's all gone. Uh, long story short, no, you cannot actually store the progressive knives in there. Um, oh, that is actually gone. Okay, one sec. Okay, like I was trying to say, uh, you cannot actually fold up the progressive knife, unfortunately. They are two separate parts. Uh, really is a bit of shame, but I... Uh, I might be nitpicking. I don't know. Um, and for the last hands, you get these clawed hands. They don't really have much of a use. You actually do get some other hands. You get two other pairs. These are completely different. You have one specifically for holding this handle, and another trigger finger one to hold this absolutely massive sniper rifle. This is probably the biggest weapon I've ever seen on a model kit. And even this has its fair share of color separation. The clear red is color separated. Um, and yeah, that's really the only color besides gray. Also, um, a little additional bonus is because there is... Oop, let's try to get that focused. There we go. Uh, because uh, the clear red piece feeds through to the back on both sides, you do get some, what I assume is unintentional light piping. Uh, but it, it's uh, all very nice. All said and done. Uh, it looks good. Um, the actual sniper rifle itself, uh, this handle can move. I have no idea why. Maybe it's a pump-action shotgun. Um, and you also have the scope up here, can move forward and back like so. Uh, it's a little hard to get on and off. Um, this part can open up, I have no clue why. Uh, looks like ammo, I assume. Close that up, and yeah, that's really it for the rifle. Um, because it attaches by two hands, you gotta remove both the hands that are on the Evangelion. So yeah, that's a, uh, it for accessories. A lot comes with it, especially including hands, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to articulation. And as always, from the head down. The head is on a ball joint, and a hinge joint can look up not that far, and down pretty far. Uh, this whole back section can actually open up. Uh, this part also pulls up, and you reveal... The entry plug, for those of you who don't know, the Evangelion is, ooh, piloted by this, called an entry plug. This is where the pilot sits, and it just gets inserted into the back of the Evangelion like that. There we go, close it up, and there we go. Uh, the shoulders are connected by two ball joints, uh, one in the chest, <sighs> oh, there was a fly on me, sorry. One in the chest allows it to swing, oh no. One in the chest allows it to swing around, and the other is the actual arm. Uh, these parts can move up, so the arm can raise about that far, uh, and it will almost go all the way around until it gets blocked by the shoulder pylon, um, and the swivel is a little bit weird. So you have this, which, it doesn't work, <laughs> because this armor won't move with it. What you want to do is grab, uh, both of the arm and the forearm, and swivel it all together, swivel all that armor together. Uh, this joint up here really helps as well. So it can go about, ooh, yeah, this, the swivel isn't all that great. Oh, okay. Uh, but yes, the swivel is not all that great. Um, it definitely could be a bit better, which is why I'm assuming that additional joint is there. Oh no, this whole thing is just breaking apart. Give me a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh, the arms are on a double hinge joint, so they can bend all the way like that. Um, and the arm, no, the wrist is a little weird. So the hands ha all have this little tab on them, which allows you to put it all the way in. Uh, the wrist can move up and down all the way. Um, and if you have the tab in and you decide to swivel the wrist, you get some of that anatomical shifting, which is pretty cool. Um... Ooh, yeah, and be careful of this part back here. I've had a tendency of it to fall out when I've done the wrist sw swivel, so be careful. If you don't want uh, the wrist to be swiveled like that, simply just pull it out and you can swivel it without any trouble. Um, make sure to hold this part when you're trying to remove the hand. Even the instructions tell you to do so, uh, because that might completely break the entire arm. Being an Evangelion, of course, the three classic segments are not ball joints like you would expect. Instead, you just get some straight-up hinge joints, which gives you some pretty nice movement. Uh, at first, it might seem like, well, that's not entirely a ton. But 
each one of these segments actually pull up. There we go. And that's what's what gets you that excellent ab crunch and an even better arcing back. Wow, that's that's some impressive articulation. Now the hips uh, are on pegs. However, if you tear into this, this uh, little segment, uh, well, first of all, it's on a ball joint and also it can turn around. However, I find it very tight on my copy of this figure. So I don't know how it is on others, um, but it is a little tight. But uh, the legs can spread out about eh, not that far until, yeah, there we go until you activate that joint, then you can get it all the way out, which is pretty good. Um, also, uh, something really nice about the Evangelion, I will not give any spoilers, but just the organic shape of it, and this also actually reflects real human anatomy, the model kit does, which is super cool, and uh, it's very interesting to see. So the leg bends on two joints, first joint gets you that much uh, slight bulge at the thigh and retraction of this, and the second joint really does most of the work. So in total, you get that. Uh, the knee pad can also move back just a bit, and the foot uh, can go down, up, ankle guard is on a ball joint, so it can turn around. Uh, toe can pivot, a really nice pivot. That is, I, I'm blown away, that's really good. And that part falls off a little bit too much. Uh, might have to glue that, and a toe bend. So yeah, overall, uh, on the articulation, this thing is very well articulated. There's a lot going on, but at the same time, its movement is so simple and organic. Uh, you can get a ton of poses out of this thing. Uh, so yeah, that's really it for the review. Um, thank you for watching. This model kit was super great. It was super fun to build, super fun to review. I cannot get my hands off of posing this thing. It is very fun to pose, very easy to pose. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.